All right, welcome everyone to our Outlaws of Thunder Junction episode. We are playing with the brand new Precons, and we are in the middle of nowhere today filming. <laughs> As usual, my name is Esmond. I'm joined by Paul, Ashley, Smith. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so we are a bunch of outlaws today. Uh, filming with no play nets. Mm. But we are doing something very special because these new pre-cons actually come with these bounty cards. So we are playing the bounty cards, there are 12 of them in total. Um, we'll probably explain how it works while we play the game. But basically, you complete a quest, you get a reward. And yeah, for today, I am playing the Izzard Commander, Stella Lee, the wild card. So I'm going to try cast a lot of spells, exile cards from the top of my library, and then copy my spells, and probably, you know, do some storming. Alright, I'm going to be playing Gaunti, Kenny Acquisitor. It's all about stealing things. Uh, I get a discount for casting spells that other people control or other people own. So we're going to steal a lot of stuff. So I am playing Cactus Man, Yuka, no wait, Yuma, a proud protector. Mm -hmm. Yes, cares about deserts and makes cactus, cacti, cacti, cacti folk. Cacti folk. Okay, and I'm on the new Olivia. Olivia Opulent Outlaw. Right, so yep, it's gonna make a lot of treasures with this whole new group of creatures buying together known as the Outlaw. So yeah, these are the brand new pre-cons. We haven't seen the deck at all. We haven't played it. This is our first time actually seeing and playing with the decks. So, you know, You're gonna suck. <laughs> I'm gonna make a few mistakes. If you wanna win yourself a prize, we are giving away these um, collector booster sample packs. These are of course in the pre-cons as well. And I'm just gonna pick one winner. You get all four of these. All you have to do is leave a comment down below. Tell us the biggest crime you've ever committed in Commander. Or in real life, it's up to you. <laughs> in it's Commander. Your, it's your call. In, in, yeah. I don't know. So as usual, if you want to support us, please go check out the links below. Thank you for watching, subscribing and liking. And of course to the YouTube members, you guys are helping to Keep this channel, keep going, help us make more content. And of course, members get exclusive bonus monthly episodes as well as one day earlier preview access to these videos. Very, very <laughs> eloquently phrased. I, I know, right? I know, right? And of course, a big shout out to Wizards for providing us with these decks. And yeah, let's go. Okay, so let's begin. Let's see who starts first. Hi, Ro. Oh, wow. Rig. Scam. <laughs> Scam. Rig. Okay, so the bounty cards only start at the starting player's third turn. On the start of the third turn cycle. Yes. So yeah. nothing happens for the first two turns. Yes. So let's begin and I will draw. I'm going to start with a mountain and a box. Okay, I will draw. I will be that person. Oh, I'll no. play a planes. I'll, I'll tap it and I'll play a soul ring. Oh my gosh. And I'll say go. New art for the soul ring. Okay, so I'll draw. Yeah, new art for the soul ring. Black cliff cliffs. Oh, fast mana. Yes. Fast, fast land. Enter. Fast land. Fast yeah. land. So this land will enter the battlefield tap unless I control two or fewer other lands. So it's untapped, but I have no other game actions. <laughs> so I'm passed. Nice. So draw for turn. I'm gonna play a command tower. Oh, nice. I'm gonna tap it. Oh my gosh. And I'm gonna play a Triton Shore Stalker. Oh. It can't be blocked. It's a one-one. Okay. Okay, my turn. Draw. Uh, I'm gonna play a tap land, it's a Izzard Boiler Works, and I'll return the mountain to my hand. <laughs> and I'll go to discard. Wow. <laughs> oh man. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna discard a radical idea, which has jump start. Oh. Yeah. I'll drop a turn. I will play a new card, Creosote Perth. So it's a desert, it comes in tap. As it enters the battlefield, I deal one damage to target opponent. Oh. Um, so you have a creature, Ashley, so I'll hit you for a while. No, I'll take it yep. happily. Yep. And I will continue making myself a huge problem. I will tap 3 mana in order to play a Chromatic Lantern. Oh my oh. god, the rim. Oh. And I will say go. Okay, I'll go to my turn. I'll draw. Ooh, I'll play a Swamp and I'll do nothing and go. Alright. <laughs> Until I keep draw. Island. And I'll tap 2. Ghostly Pilferer. When it becomes untapped, I pay two, I can draw a card. Anyone cast a spell from anywhere other than their hand, I draw a card. Yeah. And then I can discard a card to make it unblockable. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like a theme going on there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Like an it's unblockable almost, theme. It's almost as if this deck was pre-constructed with a certain idea. I know, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the payoff though? Sorry. <laughs> Commander is actually Yuriko, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, actually, it's actually Yuriko. <laughs> Alright, I end my turn. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. Eh, sorry, I'm going to combat. <laughs> Alright, right, I'll, I'll take one. I'll swing it. <laughs> 4 for 1. <laughs> 2 
correct. Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. Yeah, end my turn. <laughs> okay, so now as my turn begins, we will reveal the first bounty. Miron Tilas Jr. So, end step. If the nearest opponent to your left was dealt combat damage this turn, collect the reward. Oh, oh. incentive. Me with no creatures. There's only one person with creatures. <laughs> Okay, so how it works is that if the bounty is unclaimed, it goes up. Yep. So the first bounty is to make a treasure token, oh, uh, the first bounty reward. Second one is to make two treasures. Third one is to make two treasures or draw a card. And if four turns have passed, then create two treasure tokens and draw a card. Okay, so then I will untap and I'll draw. So I'll try and stop Ashley from claiming the bounty, I no, guess. No, don't stop me, don't stop me. I will play a mountain. I have three mana now. I will tap three and I'll play Propaganda. Oh. <laughs> Good card. Alright. All right. <laughs> oh. The timing is perfect. Okay, okay, okay. And okay. I'll pass. Okay, on your turn, the bounty goes okay, up. Okay, on my turn, the bounty goes up. And I will continue making myself annoying. I'll play a Skewed Swarm. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh. And then I will play my land for a turn. I will play a Dunes of the Dead. So it is a land. Landfall will trigger on Skewed Swarm and I will create a 1-1 one, one green insect creature token. Yep. Then I will tap 3 mana, turn Timber Sower. It is a 3 mana 3-3. Three, three. It says whenever one or more land cards are put into my graveyard from anywhere, I make a 0-1 plant. I can sacrifice 3 creatures to return a land card from my graveyard yes. to my hand. It's a lands and plant it's deck. It's a lands and plants deck. Okay. Okay, and I will say go. Okay, if the bounty goes up, and my turn I'll draw a card. Play a plains. Yeah, I'm gonna tap three, and I'm gonna cast this Mari the Killing Quill. Oh. So it's a legendary creature, Vampire Assassin. So it's an outlaw. Yeah. So whenever a creature and opponent control dies, exile it with a hit counter on it. So Assassin mercenaries and rogue that I control have death touch, and whenever the this creature deals combat damage to a player, you may remove a hit counter from the card that a player owns in exile. And if I do, I can draw a card and create two treasures token. That's a lot of text. It's a lot of text. A lot of text. <laughs> and I'm done. Alright. Draw. Oh, bounty goes up. Oh sorry, bounty oh bounty oh. goes up. Oh. What is the payment price for propaganda again? You can't attack me unless you pay two for each attacking creature. I can I can I can I can. <laughs> That's pretty reasonable. You're gonna get it back. It's pretty reasonable. I, I play, I play, land, I play land for turn. I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna. Uh, the land enters, enters tap. No, unless I control a swamp of four. A uh, swamp of four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'm, I'm gonna play a tap opulent palace. Then. I swing Triton Shot Locker at Esmond. Yeah. I will pay the two for propaganda. Yeah, take yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. What happens? What happens now? Uh, I just end step. Then the bounty is clean. I go to my. I look. I go to my end step. Okay. <laughs> the excitement yeah. about getting the bounty. You collect the bounty from Miron Tilas. Okay. You get two treasure tokens and you draw a card. Oh my god! Oh, two nice. treasures and I draw a card. Wow, this is amazing. All right, that's it for my turn. Okay, so since there's no bounty now, I will reveal the next one. Sneaky soft card. Beginning of your end step. If you cast no spells this turn, collect your reward. I'll draw for turn. I'll play my land for turn. Frost boil snarl. I will reveal a mountain so it yep. enters untapped. And then I will tap three. I'll play my commander. Stella Lee, wild card. Uh, that triggers ghostly pilferer. Right? Oh yeah. Thanks, Asma. <laughs> um, Stella Lee was my first spell this turn. Now I'm gonna tap the snarl and I'll play Serum Visions. And on the cast trigger, Stella Lee, because this is my second spell, I will exile the top card of my library which is a mountain and until the end of my next turn, I can play that card. And then Serum Visions will resolve, I'll draw a card and then I'll scry two. I'll put one on top and one below. Yep, and that's it. So I will untap. Bounty goes up. Yep, bounty goes up. I will draw for turn. Um, it's gonna go for the bounty. Yeah, Paul, go for the bounty. You don't need to play any spells. I should, I should, I should go for the bounty. <laughs> yeah, you get two treasures. Yeah, I do get two treasures. And Smith doesn't get two treasures. He has six mana on board. You guys are encouraging <laughs> me to get two more treasures. Yeah, I do need those treasures. Seems like it. Okay, I'll move to my end step. <laughs> <laughs> okay! Alright. No spells were cast. No spells were cast. You get the bounty of Sleepy Sofka. Yeah. And two treasures. And two treasures. So I'm gonna untap. Before that, the bounty. Yep. It is Rissa Blades Lee. So at the beginning of your end step, if you cast an instant or sorcery this turn, while you had two or more instant and or sorceries in your graveyard, 
collect your reward. Okay, okay. That's not happening for us. <laughs> that, that seems good for me. Sounds like an assessment thing. I'll go to my cut draw. So I'm going to play a plane. So I'm going to tap all my four land. I'm going to cast my commander, Olivia. <laughs> oh no. So it's flying lifeling. One of those outlaws hit anybody and I'm going to get a treasure. And I draw a cut off Ghostly Pilfer. Yep. Declare attack. 3-2 coming at right, you. Alright, go to blocks. Yes. No blocks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Damage. Yes, and I'll get a treasure. That's all I have for this turn, actually. So, yep, I'm done. Let's go. All right, bounty goes out. Upkeep draw. Yeah. I'm going to play a land for turn. Woodland Cemetery comes into play untapped. No, it's still no, tapped. It's still tapped. You still don't have a forest <laughs> or swamp. It's me. It's okay, you have treasures. No, it was right here. It was right here. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> for five mana, I'm going to play my commander. Gonti, Kenny, Acquisitor. All right, I'm going to go to combat. Yeah, I think I take from Smith. So if I swing it for, for one. I think so. For one damage. Yep, I can't block that, right? So yep, I'll take one. Go to 39 and I'm gonna I'm gonna exile it face down, I think. Yeah, he only healing oh, us. Only, yeah, only exactly. I can look at yeah, it. Only, Ooh. Yeah, only Oh yeah, you look disappointed. <laughs> okay la. Right, then I end my turn. Oh, you end your turn. So bounty goes up to three. Oh. I will untap. Oh. I will draw. So I'll tap is it mana? I'll play a Goblin Electromancer to reduce the cost of my instant and sorceries. Oh, is that new art? And I'll play a Preordain, which only costs one. No, no, no. So, on the cast trigger, Stella Lee again will trigger. Exile top card of my library. It's a Young Pyromancer. And then Preordain resolves, I'll scry two and draw a card. I will bottom both cards. And then I'll draw a card. Land for turn will be the Mountain from Exile. And then I will move to end step. I will claim the bounty of my sister, Rissa Lee. Because I cast a sorcery while there were two instant and sorceries in my graveyard. Oh man, which bounty should I get? <laughs> I will get two treasures. Okay, and that's it for me. I will untap nothing because uh, I did nothing last turn. And we will reveal a new bounty. Yep. Yeah. It is Vera Buff Hannifer. Beginning of your end step, if the nearest opponent to your right was the out combat damage? Collect your reward. Oh. No, stop hitting me! Sure, <laughs> we could do that. We could probably do that. I will do the more risky and the play that makes the least sense. I will tap a grand total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Oh. Wow. Whoa. I will cast my commander without any cost reduction. Yuma, Proud Protector. Whenever Yuma enters the battlefield, I may sacrifice a land. If I do, I draw a card. So I will sacrifice Dunes of the Dead. Okay. So it goes there and I will draw a card. Yeah. Okay. I, got, I got a trigger of uh, Ghostly Pilfer. So in addition to that, Turn Timber Sower will trigger because one or more land cards was put into my graveyard from anywhere and I will make a 0-1 plant creature token. So you get a zombie and a plant? Yes, I get a zombie and a plant. And then I have another trigger, which is whenever a desert is put into my graveyard from anywhere, I create a 4-2 green plant warrior creature token with reach. Wow, you just got three creatures from Yes, there. that was eight mana worth of power. I will play a land for turn. Nice. When I play a land for turn, Skewed Storm will trigger, yes. uh -huh. and I will create another plant. Insect. Insect, yes, yeah. another plant insect. No, plants are zero ones. Insects are one ones. Oh yes, insects yeah. are insects one ones. Insects eat the plants. Insects eat the plants. I think I can't attack anybody, so I will say go. Bounty trigger goes yeah, to... Yes. Bounty to two. Two, and I'll draw for two. Okay, I'll tap all my five lands. Tenno Ink Caster. So it's a four colorless one, black, two, two. And it's a Warlock, Vampire Warlock. So when ETB, put a plus one, plus one counter on the target creature I control. And when a creature I control with a plus one, plus one counter on it attacks, each opponent loses one life and I gain one life. Okay, so I'll put it here. So now, Oliver is a 4-4 flying lifelink and with death touch as well. I'll go to combat and Oliver will go at Ashley for 4 in the air. Right. Flying lifelink. Because it has a plus one, plus one counter, so each opponent gets to lose one life and I gain one additional life. Oh my gosh. Gross. Yeah. I got no blocks, so we go damage. Okay. Okay. Commander damage. I'll gain 4 and I'll get another treasure. Okay, and I'm done. Alright, upkeep. Draw. Bounty. Bounty. Three. I'm going to play <laughs> a Woodland Cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> it comes into play untapped. Yes. Because I control a sword. Finally got it right. <laughs> took me a while, took me a while. 
I'm gonna play myself a hostage taker. No! When it ETBs, I can exalt another target creature or artifact until hostage taker leaves the battlefield. Strong. I can okay. cast that spell for as long as it remains exalt. I'm gonna join your Scoot Swarm. Join Scoot Swarm. I will respond. No! <laughs> In response to the trigger targeting his Scoot Swarm, I will tap one green and I will activate tim Turn Timber Sower's ability. It says, sacrifice three creatures, return target land card from my graveyard to my hand. I should have known. I should have so known. I will sacrifice Scoot Swarm, one insect, and one plant. This is what you get for not paying attention to the board. Yeah. And there'll be a trigger for Scoot Swarm dying on my end. Oh, oh. So it's going to get exiled. get, get exile. a hit counter on it. Okay, okay. Yes! I can't sing. A Triton Shaw Stalker at Smith, because he's on my right. Okay, I have to take that one anyway. Take one damage. Unblockable, yep. Uh, this trigger's gone, please, so exile the top card from your library. And face down. Alright, face down. Yep. And then I end my turn. Okay, so end step, you have claimed Varabeth Hanifa. You get to either make two treasures or draw a card. I make two treasures. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. On my turn, the bounty will be refreshed. Beginning of your end step, if there are four or more card types among cards in the graveyard, then you collect the reward. Okay, then I'll untap and I'll draw. I will play an island. I'm gonna tap my six mana. I will play Nith Mizzet. Oh! Paroon can't be countered with flying as a 5 5. Whenever I draw a card, it deals one damage to any target. Whenever a player casts an instant of sorcery, I draw a card. And then I will crack one treasure because instant sorcery spells cost one less to cast. I will jumpstart Radical Idea from my graveyard by discarding a mountain. Mm -hmm. And then on the cast, I draw a card from Nif Mizzet because a player casts an instant. And then when I draw the card, I do one damage to any target. Yep. I will target the Ghostly Pilferer. In response. Sure. I'm gonna tap one for a black. Oh no. And I'm gonna cast a Deadly Dispute. I'm ah! Gonna sacrifice the Ghostly Pilferer. Okay. Then I'm gonna draw two cards. Sure. Okay. Does Mari does Mari see that? Yes, Mari sees yes. it. Mari so I exiled. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Wow. So daily dispute you draw two and you make a treasure. I make I'll make a treasure. And that will trigger Nif Mizzet. So I'll draw another card. And you ping for ping something for And then one. this ping, I will target target the Shaw Stalker. <laughs> what? It's so annoying! Fine. <laughs> Okay, and then Radical Idea resolves. I will actually draw a card from the spell. And then when I draw a card, I have one more damage to ping. So I'm going to target... Insect? The only <laughs> other creature that will die, which is the insect. Insect. Insect dies. Yeah, that's it. I'll just pass. I will drop a turn. I will play Dunes of the Dead. I'll tap this for green mana. Okay. And tap this for two mana and I will cast Spring Bloom Druid. Oh. When it enters the battlefield, I may sacrifice a land. If I do, I search for two basics, put them onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle. So I will sacrifice <laughs> Dunes of the oh. Dead. Sure. When Dunes of the Dead is put into the graveyard, it's a desert, uh, Yuma will trigger, and I will get another Plant Warrior token. Dunes gives me a second zombie. It's a lot of tokens. Yeah. Yep. And uh, Till and Timber Soa means I make another plant. Oh, man. Then I will search for two basics. Yeah. So I will search up two mountains and they will enter the battlefield. And then I will tap all my mana. I will cast Requisition Raid. I will spree all three modes. So I will destroy target artifact, which will be one treasure token. Okay. <laughs> if you want to do anything about that, it's up to you. I will destroy target enchantment, being propaganda. And I will put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature that I control. Okay, so on cast, Nif Mizzet yeah. triggers. I will draw a card. And I'll do one damage to your druid, okay. yes, which gets exiled under Mari. Oh, wow, <laughs> I love it. Or we could just get rid of Mari, you know? Yeah, yeah. Maybe we could do that. <laughs> we could do that. Maybe. Okay, okay, so it resolves and my treasure will go poof. And yep. propaganda goes poof. Yep. And that's it. You get plus one counters. Yep. I will move to combat. So I'll swing Yuma and Plant Warrior at you, Esmen. One zombie is going at um, you, Smith. So when I attack, Yuma triggers. Because it's attack, I may sacrifice a land. If I do, I draw a card. I'm going to be greedy. I'm going to sacrifice Crescent at Hearth. Wow. Right? So it's a, desert. it's a desert. Yuma triggers. I make another plant token. But so, you draw a card. Yes, but I do draw a card. Okay. Because a land card was put into my graveyard from anywhere, I get a plant. 
and one of these plants does not have a plus one plus one counter, and one of these zombies <laughs> does not have a plus one plus one counter. Okay, well, uh, Smith, you have a three three zombie. Any blocks? No, I'll take it. Yeah, sure, no blocks. Okay. Okay, so three to Smith. Yep. And then seven commander. Ouch. Uh, I have no other effects. Okay, you still cannot claim the bounty. I still cannot claim the bounty. So it will go up to three, and Smith is your turn. What's the bounty again? Uh, four or more card types among cards in your graveyard. <laughs> Not happening. <Okay. laughs> I'm gonna draw for turn. So I'm gonna play a Desolate Mire. It's a land. I'm gonna tap two of them. I'm gonna cast an Akin Signet. I shall go to attacks. So this Tenure Ink caster should go at Paul. Then Oliver will go at Astley again. Lovely. No blocks. Uh, is there an attack trigger? We lose a life and... Uh, yes! Because of the plus one plus one, so each one of you... Yep. In order to make my board less confusing, I will block it with the zero one plant that has no plus one plus one counter. Okay. 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 Yes. Sure. We made it a little bit less confusing. Yes, we made yes. it a little one bit less, less confusing. Token. Yes, one less token. So there's a trigger on Mari as well. Yep, so I remove the hit counter. It's still in exile. I return to you. And then I'm going to get a trigger of drawing a card and create two treasure tokens. So much card. treasures. Yeah. I go have three treasures. Oh, and then Oliver did, uh, did combat damage. So that's one more actually. So I have four treasure tokens. Okay, Marshland Bloodcaster for five. I can tap a colorless and black and tap it. And rather than paying the mana cost, I can pay life to cast the next spell. I crack all my treasures to cast this. Cumber the Plunderer. So this is a very specific partner, right? So partner with Lorim the Diversion. So I get to search and put it into my hand. Okay, so I found Lorraine because of the partner ability, so I'm going to put this onto my hand. Yep. All right, and that's all I have, let's go. Alright, draw. I will play a land for turn, and it'll be a flooded grove. I go to combat, I swing Gonti at Esmond. <laughs> Low blocks. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it worked! <laughs> Alright. No one stops in there. Uh, take 5. Take 5 damage. Uh, then uh, Gonti's a the trigger. Exile the top card of your library. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah, what is it? Is it something good? <laughs> I'm going to tap one. I'm going to play Esmond's Arcane Signet. Nice. Nice. I'm gonna tap two. I'm gonna play Brina, the Demogod. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Oh, I love right. this card. Yeah, yeah, it's cute, right? It's yeah, kinda like, it's right? like a pillow fort thing, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It keeps me safe, right? Political. Political. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna play myself a uh, Blade Griff prototype. Whenever Blade Griff prototype deals combat damage to a player, destroy a target non land permanent of that player's choice that one of your opponents control. Okay. okay. I'm gonna my end step. Sure. Nah, discard cards. Alright, bounty is maxed out and I will untap. I had it. When I draw a card, Lift Wizard will deal 1 damage to any target. So it's at this point that Paul, I need to ask you, is, Yuma's con is Yuma gonna continue swinging at me? Uh, I don't know, there doesn't seem to be... Okay, guess... then I'm not convinced. So I'm gonna yeah. try and kill Yuma. Okay, yeah, try okay. and kill Yuma. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> you have the right, you have the right. So I'll ping Yuma for 1. Okay, Yuma is ping for 1. It's now 7-6. I'm gonna play my land. It's a Temple of the False God. Currently, it's like a soul ring. So I'm gonna tap for two, floating one colorless. I'll play an electrostatic field, which has a defender. Whenever I cast instant or sorcery, it deals one damage to each opponent. Okay, that's a win con. Yeah. I'll play a galvanic iteration. Ah, when I cast my next instant or sorcery spell this turn, I copy it. Okay. So trigger Nif, trigger electrostatic, trigger Stella. Yep. So let's each of you take one damage. Let's take one damage. Mm -hmm. And then I think I'll resolve Stella first. Yep. I'll exile the top. It's an island. Nif will resolve, I'll draw a card. Ping one more to Yuma. Yuma's at five, five toughness. I'll play Big Score. Sure. It's reduced by one because of Electromancer. Yep. As an additional cost, I have to discard a card, so I'll discard a mountain. Yeah. So Big Score gets copied yep. because of Galvanic Iteration. Yeah. On the stack, I will tap Stella Lee. Yeah. Because it's my third spell, I will copy Big Score again. Yeah. So I have one big score and two copies of it. Yes. And then Nif Mizzard will trigger off will the cast. Will trigger off the cast. Yeah. So I'll draw from that first. Yeah. Uh, the the like field. Also field also triggers. Yep. So each of you will take another damage. Yeah. And then the copy of big score will resolve. I'll draw two cards and make a tr two treasures. Yeah. Nif will trigger twice from drawing two cards. Yeah. Ping Yuma again. Yeah. You're two away from killing it, so you're yeah. definitely dead. Yep. Second copy of Big Score resolves. Yep. I'll draw two more, yep. make two treasures. Yep. Num, num, Yuma is dead. Yuma is dead. Then the original Big Score resolves. Yep. So draw two, make two treasures. Huh. 
What is my storm count? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Storm count is only cast. Only cast. Storm is cast, right? Yeah. 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 So my storm count is three. Okay. I'm gonna try and storm off. <laughs> try is a very big word here. You could screw it up at any time. I'm gonna crack all my treasures. Whoa. Uh, no, no, no. Sorry. Let me read it. <laughs> I'm gonna crack all my treasures. <laughs> So, 7 red mana, I am going to overload a Mizzix's Mastery. Okay. Oh. All right. So, I'm going to exile all my cards in my graveyard that are instant and sorceries, and then I copy each of them, and I can cast those copies for free. This gets exiled. Alright, so I'll ping one to the Bloodcaster. Okay, Let's so start yes. this chain. Four more toughness. So, in my graveyard, there is Galvanic Iteration, Big Score, Preordain, and Serum Visions. So, this is the order that I'll resolve them in. Preordain, followed by Serum Visions, followed by Iteration, followed by Big Score. Yep. So I'll cast Preordain. No, you cast all of them at the same time. Oh, I cast all of them at the same time. And then Nimbizit triggers, uh, then Nimbizit and Electrostatic Field trigger four, trigger four times four. each. Yep. Yep. Okay, yep. so all the triggers resolve first. All of you take four. One, yep. two, three, four. And then Nimbizit triggers four times. Yep. yep. So Nimbizit triggers four times, I'll draw four cards. Yep. And then four to the Marshland Bloodcaster, it dies. <laughs> Poof! Oh, that took a lot. That took a lot faster than I thought I was going to take. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah. Okay, Storm Count goes up to 8. Yep. Preordain will resolve. I'll scry 2 and draw. Alright, one top, one bottom. Snap. And then because I drew a card, Nif Mizzet triggers. Let's target Mari. Okay, so that's one damage. Yeah. And then Serum Visions will resolve. I'll draw a card and then scry 2. And then that's another damage to Mari. Okay, both bye at bye the bottom. Mari. No more Death Touch. It's because it's broken as heck. Sniff Mizzet. It's just Sniff Mizzet things. It's just Sniff Mizzet things. It's just Sniff Mizzet things. Galvanic Iteration will copy my next spell, yep. which is Big Score, which there's an additional cost to cast. So I'll discard a card. I'll discard a mountain. So resolve the copy. Yep. I'll draw two and make two treasures. From Sniff Mizzet, I'm going to ping the Blade Griff prototype. Okay. It dies. Yay! And I <laughs> get a blood token now! <laughs> yes. I'm going to gain a life and a blood token. Oh, you gain a life? Yeah. Okay, sure. Then the OG Big Score will resolve. I'll draw two, make two more treasures, up to four. Yep. Ping two more things. Uh, I will target. <laughs> Man, I feel bad, but Brina is annoying. You should, uh, you should feel bad. <laughs> Feeling remorse is a human thing. This shows how much I respect your creatures. I will target Brina <laughs> with two damage. <laughs> okay, it's got one, it's got one toughness left. <laughs> For all that work, I'm now gonna tap five mana using all my treasures in a land. And I will cast Elemental Eruption. Create a 4-4 red dragon elemental with flying and prowess. Storm. Okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> God. So. Nip triggers. Nip is triggers, thank you. And, and electrostatic field field triggers. triggers. Yes. All of you take one damage. I will draw a card. From this, yes. drawing a card, I'll ping Greena for one more. No. It's all my spells. And spoils. creature, although it's mine, because you control it, it dies, so it triggers this again. So okay. I get one more blood token and I get one life. One life. Yep. Okay, so I have one copy plus eight more copies. So I make nine four four red dragons. Flying? Flying and prowess. Ugh. Fine, I have nine dragons. What am I fine? <laughs> <laughs> it's not fine. <laughs> nah right. I don't think it's okay. I don't think I'm not okay with this. You don't sound happy, Esmond. Okay, I have to go to this card. Dig through time. Finale of Promise, Thunderclap Drake, Haughty Jin, Land, 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 Deep Analysis, Wing Boots, Land, 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 Expressive Iteration. There's a Deep Analysis in there, that's relevant. I will drop a tip. I feel like whatever we've been doing, it feels very underwhelming. Bro, I feel like everything that I stole has been taken away from me. Okay, <laughs> move to combat. All the Plant Warriors go at you, Smith. Okay. Turn Timber Sower and all the zombies, and what the hell, and the plant go at what you, Asli. Oh man, are you gonna board wipe? Yes, I am. Oh. No! Oh. Yes. I oh my it. work! I took 20 minutes to do that! <laughs> <laughs> so I'll declare blocks, I'll declare one of the five damage ones. Okay, sure. Right? Then I'll block one of the three, three zombies with the hostage taker. Yep, makes sense. Okay, so nine to Smith. Yep. yep. And four in SD. Yep, and then I will save everyone's butts. I will tap six mana. I will cast Descend Upon the Sinful, Exile All Creatures. With Descend on the Sinful on the stack, I will hold priority. I will tap one green. I will activate Turn Timber Sower's ability and I will sacrifice three creatures being Turn Timber Sower and two things. Okay. Yep. 
So and then I will... on the cast, Dim Wizard triggers? Yes. I'll draw a card. Yep. I'll do one damage to your face, Paul. My face will take it. <laughs> and for my target land, I will take Crescent Hearth. Okay, uh, then descend upon the sinful resolves. resolves okay, right? creatures are exiled. Yes, all creatures are exiled. I can't do anything else. I have just reset the board. I'll take up. Okay, so I'm just going to tap the mana and six mana comes in. Oliver. Okay, and then I have not play my land for turn and I'll be holding up this land so I guess it's about time to play the Bajuka board on targeting an Esmond's graveyard Okay, fine, it's exiled Yep, okay, and that's all I have, let's go Upkeep, draw Okay, I'm gonna play my land for turn It's gonna be a very distant bog I'm gonna recast my commander Gaunti Alright all right. Then I'm gonna tap one and I'm gonna crack a treasure So Hana Ledgewalker 1-1 one, one Hexproof, it can't be blocked except by creatures that are flying. Man, don't come and ping it. Stupid unblockable Don't shit. ping it. I'm gonna go to my I'm gonna go to my end step. I oh have no! I actually do have no! one instant, <laughs> one land, one creature, and one artifact creature. Yeah! Four more card types. Okay, so you get two treasures and draw two and draw a card. And draw a card, right? I'll Finally we got a three. new bounty. Yeah. Now draw a card. Alright, that's, that's, it, that's it for my turn. Okay, and then next bounty is revealed on my turn. Bounty of Lord Fajal. Beginning of NSEP, if a land card was put into your graveyard from anywhere distant, collect your reward. So obviously it's going to go Oh, forward. that sounds a bit unfair. Yeah. I'll draw for turn. Land for turn, I'll play Sulfur Falls. I'll tap 4 mana. I will play a Storm Kiln Artist. Okay. okay. So gets plus 1 for each artifact. Whenever I cast or copy an instant of sorcery, I get a treasure. Yep, okay. that's a good one. I'll tap. Five, I will overload Vandal Blast. Destroy all artifacts I don't control. <laughs> Cast trigger, I get a treasure. Okay, so actually I get the response because I do have blood token. I can tap the Arcane Signet and sacrifice one of them. I get to discard a card and draw a card. Yes. So I'm just going to discard one of this creature, okay. Lorraine, and draw. Okay. Okay, and that's all I have. Okay. I'm gonna crack two treasures. Down to one. I'm gonna play Siphon Insight. Oh. Targeting... Smith. So uh, look at the top two cards of a target opponent's library. Exile one of them face down and put the other on the bottom of the library. And then he can play it. Yeah, he can play the exile one. Then the other one goes to the bottom. Yep. Okay, this one goes to the bottom. Okay. Okay, so no more response. Yep. Vendor Blast resolves. Yep. Yep. And that's all. This is war. Yeah. Uh, untap. <laughs> I will draw for turn. Oh, bounty goes up. I will tap two, I'll cast Winding Way, I'll choose Creature. I will reveal a top four and put all cards of the chosen type this way into my hand and the rest into my graveyard. So, one, two, three, and four. There's an Adventure oh, of Zendikar in there. Avenger, okay. So, I will take the Avenger of Zendikar. Okay, and these three cards will go into my graveyard. And I will cast Wreck and Rebuild. I will mill five cards, then I may put a land card from my graveyard into the battlefield tapped. Pretty good. So Finally doing one, his job. Two, three, four, five. And I will take Jungle Shrine and it will come into the battlefield tapped. And these creatures will all go into my graveyard. I am moving to my end step. I have nothing else to do. Bounty will trigger. Yep. You get two treasure tokens. Yep. Because lands were put into your graveyard. That is correct. Oh no, Yuma is coming back. Yuma is coming back, potentially. Okay, so Smith's turn, Donkey yep. will be revealed. Beginning of your end step, if the player with the most cards in hand, or type for most cards, was dealt combat damage, you get the reward. Alright. I have six cards in hand. I got six cards in hand. Four or seven. I have five cards in hand. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna draw for turn. And I'll cast a Soaring. Oh. I'm gonna tap the Soaring and a Swamp and I'm gonna cast this Char Grave Robber. So it's a Skeleton Mercenary. So when ETBs, I get to return a Target Outlaw card from the graveyard to my hand. Mari the Killing Quill. Goes back to your hand. Goes back to my hand. Sure. Yes. And I'm gonna cast Mari again. Yep. And those cards are still exiled, still has a hit counter on them. Olivia, who is flying, lifeling, 3-3, three, three, it's going your way. Alright, no blocks, no damage. Okay, so with that, there's a few trigger. So Olivia will give me a treasure token on its own. 
And then Mari is going to remove one of this card, then return it back to you. And it's still in exile, yep. And then I get to draw a card and create two treasure tokens. So I'm going to draw a card, and so I'll go up to three treasures in total. I'll cast a Morbid Opportunist. So whenever one or more other creature dies, draw a card and this ability trigger only once each turn. Okay, so much value. I love that card. Yeah, I love it. It's great. Okay, that's all I have, I guess. Let's go. End step. Oh, yes. You will get the bounty. Which is a treasure. A one treasure token. Okay. Oh, my first bounty. So your turn, the bounty will be revealed. End step. If a legendary creature you control attacked alone this turn, then you get the reward. Oh, he's basically getting it. Draw the land for turn at the swamp. And then I will tap four and I'll play Smith's Reign of Riches. Yo. Oh, when I love he, that. When the ETBs, I'll create two treasure tokens. Yep. Whenever I cast a spell, uh, the first spell I cast each turn using a treasure token, I get to double it. Cascade. Sorry, Cascade. Oh. Yeah, Cascade. <laughs> you don't copy it, it's Cascade. Correct, correct. You are absolutely correct. I'm gonna tap three and I'm gonna play a uh, Dark Steel Ingot. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna swing Sahana Ledge Walker at Paul. Okay, sure. I can't block it. Alright, I'll exile the top card. Let's see what hey, it hey, is. Oh. <laughs> I didn't then, say anything. Is it a farewell? Is it a farewell? I end my turn! And you get the- Oh, you don't get the bounty. I don't get the bounty. Okay. Bounty goes up to two. I wasn't after it. Okay. And I'll draw for turn. Alright, simple turn, people. I'm gonna play Archmage Emeritus. Oh, okay. Oh, no. So, Magecraft, cast or copy, instant sorcery, okay. I draw a card. And if it's a part two. Yeah. Yeah. Chill, chill, chill. It's okay. Relax. Everything's fine. I'll play Veyran. Oh. Voice of Duality. If casting or copying an instant or sorcery causes a triggered ability of a permanent I control to trigger, it triggers at initial oh, yep. time. Nice. I'll play Opt. Okay, nice. very reasonable. So, cast Both trigger, yeah. uh, I get a treasure, I draw a card, and then they both trigger twice. Whoa, yeah. that's gonna be really weird. So that's two each, ah? Uh? Yes, two yes, each. Two each. Very simple. 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 Still okay, still yeah, it's okay. okay. So, two treasures, up to three, and then draw two cards. And then Opt will resolve. Yep. I'll scry one and draw a card. Bottom. Oh, what the shit? I, who made this precon so broken? <laughs> I'll, I'll sack a treasure for red. I'll cast Faithless Looting. Okay, here we go. Same thing happens. Draw, yeah. draw. Two treasures. Draw, draw. And then Faithless Looting resolves. Yep. So yep. I'll draw two more yep. and discard two cards. Yep. Island. And a finale of Revelation. Okay, so I'm gonna track all my treasures. Oof. And a red mana, so five in oh. total. I'll play Baral's Expertise. Mm. How does that work? I don't know that card. So return up to three artifacts and all creatures to their owner's hands. Ah, oh, there's a trigger. Bounty. Yeah, so trigger, 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 trigger. Yeah. So I can target three things to bounce. I will target Olivia. Okay. Uh, Mari. Okay. And Conti. So I may cast a spell with mana value four or less from my hand without paying its mana cost. Yeah. I'm gonna put in Kazar. Royal Chaser. Okay. It's a 1 2 flying case. I can tap it. The next instant of sorcery spell I cast will cost X less, where X is the number of wizards I control. X oh, is equal right. to 3. three. X is currently 3. Yep. Storm count 6. Storm, storm count is 6. So I'll tap Kaza. Yep. Next spell is going to cost 3 less. Yep. I will cast Rousing Refrain using 2 from the red treasures. Yep. And I get my treasures back. I draw 2 cards. And then I'll add 6 red yep. because you have 6 cards in hand. Yep. And then this gets suspended yeah. with three time counters. Yeah. Whoa. I'll go to combat. I'll send the artist at Paul okay. for four free damage. Okay, so I'll go to my end step and I'll go to this card. So I'll discard an island and Folger's Foundry. Okay. So I will untap. Bounty goes up. I will draw for turn. Okay, I'll tap seven. Huh? I will cast Avenger of Zendika. <laughs> okay. Okay, I will make six plants. Well, that's pretty good. Okay. Alright, say go. So, yep, I'll draw for turn. Cast back my Oliver into play. Yep. It's almost, it's just like. It's okay, hype it up. Yeah. Yeah, you got yeah. this, Smith. <laughs> yes! Let's go! Let's go! Outlaws! Let's hype it up. No, I'm just gonna cast back the same thing that can bounce back. <laughs> time walk. Time walk. Yeah, I just got time walk. Like, time walk for a turn. Yeah, I'm gonna hit you with for three. Sure, no blocks. Okay. Take three. I get one more treasure. Okay. I'll okay. tap the soul ring. And I'll cast this uh, Ozov Signet. Sure. <laughs> yep, I guess I'm done. I'll keep draw. There you go. Alright. Uh, play land for turn, Sunken Hollow. I crack one treasure. 
Okay. And I tap six. Mines dilation. Oh. So just uh, because of rain of riches, there's a copy of this. Can I just get? No, it's not. No, it's a casket. It's a casket. It's a casket. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Soul ring. Soul ring. Well done. No. That's oh, underwhelming. Okay, so casket resolves. My installation is still on the stack. Correct. Uh. Uh, I'll, right. I'll respond. <laughs> <laughs> you will tap two mana. Two blue mana. I will tap two blue mana. <laughs> is it arcane denial? Yes. I'm sorry, but it makes sense. Hey, you get a cut draw. I can't catch a break. <laughs> So I get all my triggers, I get the treasures back, and I can draw two cards. So Arcane Denial counters your spell. Uh, don't worry, on my upkeep you get to draw two cards. Okay, so I'll tap four and crack one treasure, and then I'll play my commander Gonki. Sure. I'm playing this for the third time. Now I'm going to combat also in Asmund. One damage. Ouch. I, I will take it. Okay, and then you do the thing. Okay, top card, here you go. Good luck. End step, I'm done. Okay, so on my upkeep, you get to draw two cards. I'll draw one. Also on my upkeep, Rousing Refrain goes down to two time counters, and then I'll draw for turn. I'm just gonna play a land for turn. And done? It's my <laughs> command. Okay, I'll untap. <laughs> <laughs> Bounty trigger? <laughs> command tower? I'm actually gonna try and storm off, I guess. First spell for this turn is Gutter Snipe. Ah, okay. That's yes. a win con. I think that, I think I that is a win con. Yeah. I'll tap two, and I will cast Think twice. So it's an instant, says so draw a card. So I have triggers from Archmage, Veyran, and Stormkiln Artist, and Gutter Snipe. Yep, yep. So Veyran basically doubles all those right, right, triggers. Right, right, right. Yep. So draw two cards, get two treasures, ping four damage. Yep, yep, fair. Yep, fair. Goodbye, yeah, I think I'm pretty much. No, I think we're all dead. You cast two more spells, and then I'm done. Archmage draws two cards, and then I get two treasures, and then Think twice will resolve or draw a card. I am going to flashback. <laughs> Faithless Looting. So same triggers. Yep. yep. <laughs> I'll take four. I get two more treasures. I draw two. Veyron gets pumped. Faithless resolves. Yep. I draw two and discard two. I'll discard two islands. Yep. Oh, this is... Oh, wow. Hey, this deck is very well built. Yes. I will yes. flashback another spell. It's the thing twice. Right. So I'll use three treasures for that and I'll get back two. So yep. I'm to five treasures now. Um, Asli, unfortunately, that means you die. Yep. So I'll take four, yeah? Four. Yep, four damage. So Varian gets pumped, Archmage triggers, I draw two. Oh, then think twice resolves, I'll draw a card. I'm going to tap Kaza. Mm -hmm. So my next spell is going to cost three, three less. less. Mm -hmm. I will play Volcanic Torrent. Uh, it has Cascade and then it deals X damage to each creature and Planeswalker you all control. Yep. Well, X is the number of spells I've cast this turn. Okay. So each of you take four, and I draw two one. cards. Yep. Storm Town is currently five, after Cascade it will be six, I guess. So I'll Cascade into something, four CMC or less, which is Pongify. Anyway, I'll just cast Pongify and Avenger. Avenger get, becomes a monkey? Yeah, to get my triggers. Sure. So each of you take four again from Pongify. Yep. And I'll draw two cards, make two treasures, and Veyran gets pumped. Okay, so when Volcanic Torrent resolves, it is a six spell I've cast this turn. It'll That's do right. six damage to all your creatures. Okay, board is white. Okay, for the finale. Yes. What we've all been waiting for. I'm going to discard my hand and draw four cards. For each card discarded this way, my creatures get plus one power until the end of turn. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Your creatures are massive. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. On uh, the cast trigger, I draw two more. 18, 19. I'll discard 19 cards. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I cast it. Gutter snipe triggers yeah. first. Paul yeah. So Paul died. Well. Paul is dead. Smith is at nine. Yes, I got second. <laughs> <laughs> I will attack you with my plus 19, plus 19 oh, creatures. Oh my <laughs> Death by combat <laughs> damage. Oh. oh my goodness. No, I have nothing. I have no darkness. Oh, that was such a sweaty game. Thanks for watching. Yeah, tell, us, tell us what you guys think. My turns were very long. We are tired now. Yeah, yeah. We all use a lot of brain cells. Uh, no, but actually we didn't. <laughs> it's just you actually. No, I, I, I feel like I used a lot of brain cells watching him play. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, thank you all for watching and joining us on this Outlaw game. And like I said at the beginning, do leave a comment. What was the biggest crime you've committed? Playing Magic. Storm. Blink Storm, oh, Blink yes. Storm. <laughs> Blink Storm. <laughs> One winner will get all these four sample collector packs. Once again, a big shout out to Wizards for providing these pre-cons. And thank you guys for joining me. I have me. one bounty at the end of the game. Oh. How many do you guys have? Oh, I, I have, have one. I, I have two. I got three. I only got one actually. 
Yeah. Uh, AFC won. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs>